the loudest mouth in the room. I was just very, very lucky. I just keep going. Hi, I'm Burke Hawk and this is Rock Talk. I love myself today. I'm just a regular guy with a lucky break. Maybe I should examine my head because I'm with the original and beautiful Biff Naked. Yeah, that's right, Biff Naked. Wow, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Biff Naked. All right, party people, I'm Burke Hawk and today we're here with Biff Naked. <laughs> and Biff Naked, hi. And what is it that you do in the band? For uh, people, well, if nobody's I ever understand. met you before or knows anything about you. Well, I'm the loudest mouth in the room. So basically I do all the talking and then I keep talking. I never stop. The reality, she really didn't want to be married or at least not to be talking. I never stop talking. A little bit of singing and then I just... I was just out of high school in my first band. Singing and then I just never shut up and... I, I'm a mouthpiece. So right now you're on the Songs and Stories Tour? That's right. Give people at home a glimpse of what that evening, an evening with Biff, intimate, naked, Biff naked. Oh, well, you know, that. so I wrote this book. Uh, well, I didn't mean to. It was kind of accidental in a way. My manager bugged me into doing it. And uh, it just came out on HarperCollins. And we decided to, instead of just doing a book tour, to sing the songs that are related to the stories because I've written so many songs about just different things that happen in my life. So, And then we tell a story and then sing. The next step was to open the door and somehow disperse the contents without them blowing back on myself. <laughs> story and then sing the song about it. Tell a story and then sing the song. And how has that been received so far? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. Is. I'm a, a emotional person, so it's been a lot of like laughing and crying, and it's just been really well, cool. Well, laughing and crying. I have read the book. Mm. I wanted to reach through the book and grab you, especially for the first twelve chapters, and uh. say, "How do you meet so many scumbags?" Like, <laughs> I no no honestly like how did like how did you attract all these and that's evil an edited people? That's an edited version of my book. Uh, yeah, I bet. But you know, I don't think my story is unique, and that's the thing that's really a daunting in this world. It's not a unique story. I was just very very lucky. There's there's so many stories that are so much more tragic than mine will ever be. There's lots of runaways who don't get a chance to go home. For example, there's lots of girls who get. Uh, kind of preyed upon by, you know, uh, evil sure. producers or yeah, whatever, yeah. and they never come out of whatever they wind up getting into. Um, I just think I'm really lucky. Oh, I, I, well, that's a great way to look at yeah. it, to, to spin it around. That's one thing I, I think I've learned from reading and following you throughout the years is that no matter what obstacle you're faced with, that's you right. you try to look on the bright side of things. Oh, absolutely. So for any you know, runaways or for any people that are just misunderstood, would you have any advice for those young people out there? Oh, just keep going. Like, don't just don't believe in yourself. Like, no matter what, just know in your, know in your own mind that, uh, that you're following the path you're supposed to follow, regardless of what happened. Just keep going. If there's, a, you know, it's almost like a, a video game. You just keep going through the gunfire. Just keep going. And the more you, uh, the more you get up, the, the better you are at getting up again and again. You develop a resiliency. Well, for sure, you're definitely resilient. Not only did you overcome all these horrendous, to me horrendous, I'm looking at them like, my younger sisters, I would just like, I would yeah. be throwing fists, like I really right. would. Like oh, I just, sure. reading that just broke my heart that oh. like, there's so many guys out there that just want to take advantage of women like that. Yeah, it's very common. Oh, and then, then you go through the tragedy of having breast cancer. That was exciting. That was a vacation for me, for my life, which was a real statement about what my life must have been like. For you know, sure. just how busy it was and, uh, you know, and it takes a, a crisis sometimes for people to stop 
you know, what I call the crazy train, which is life. It, just, yeah. it takes a, a catalyst sometimes, whether it's a, a divorce or a death or a birth or, or some type of, you know, real shift. And that's what it did for me. It also introduced me into uh, some of my passions that I didn't know were there, like, uh, you know, patient advocacy, medical translation, like all mm -hmm. these crazy thing, jobs in the hospital. I should have been yeah. a janitor, actually. I would have been a great janitor in the or, hospital. Well, is Orderly. That, is that kind of from your mother then? Yeah, it has to yeah, be, you know? Be. And um, and I just, I really enjoyed it and I love it. I'm still on medication and I still work with patients. I'm a rookie, I'm the rookie whisperer, basically. <laughs> so when they get uh, girls who are just diagnosed, yep. um, they, they call or email me if I have time, I'll race over to the hospital, meet them for their chemo session and mm -hmm. you know take well, my top hat uh, and cane that's routine very noble and, and do that. Of you. Well, it's just, you know, it, it, it perhaps can shift a perspective that that can carry them through. For sure. You know, if you got to find the funny in it. Well, speaking of strong women, we've both had them in our, our lives. My mom, besides my mom, you, I, when growing up, you were the woman that I idolized. Oh, because, no. no, because, no, no. <laughs> I'm were, so sorry. It's such a male-driven industry, and mm -hmm. along comes Biff Naked, and it was actually a woman I could relate to. Oh, really? And then, oh, really? you know, I'm, I'm, here I am, a 6'4", 240-pound guy, singing tango shoes awesome. or, or, or a spaceman awesome. at the top that's of my lungs. Awesome. And I just want to say oh, thank you so for cool. exposing me to something I'm, I probably would never have been exposed to. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome, thank awesome. you. Thank I gotta you. Pitch, I got to pitch some ideas for you. Okay. Well, I know you, you're into, you're, well, vegan. Yeah. So when is maybe the, instead of the, you know, the naked truth, maybe a, a restaurant that serves nothing but organic food, the naked. You're, you're speaking in, but I think you're praying right now. Yeah, so. From so, your mouth to God's ears, that would have, I love cooking cookies. So, is so maybe the naked cookies. fruit. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. You never know. Yeah, restaurants are great. I live in Vancouver. Yeah. Um, there's a million restaurants out there. The population is very interesting with their gear towards eating. Mm -hmm. I think Toronto is an amazing place because, uh, Montreal too, because of the variety, great variety of different restaurants here. Um, you got to have a lot of capital. <laughs> Oh, for you sure, for sure, yeah, for sure, for sure. You got to have sure. a lot of money. Hope maybe maybe a, a cooking thing. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, for school. sure. A catering company. Yeah. Uh, Snake and I were talking about having a, a truck, a food truck. Driving I could see around. that. Yeah. Any names in the works? I don't know. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I always, <laughs> I always want to name it after him. Yeah. Yeah. So Snake's Pit sort of type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Snake he's been taken. Like, yeah. yeah. But, but he's not, not a vegan. Trucks. He's not a vegan. Oh, he's not a vegan. Not so you could like close. split it up halfway. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a lot of counter space. Why so. not? Yeah. True. <laughs> right. It'd have to be pretty big. Yeah. Um, I think. I think I've touched on everything I wanted to actually talk to you awesome, about. Awesome. And I, I really sincerely appreciate all your time. Thank you for driving in, guys. No I mean, problem. This is we look forward stuff. to the show tonight. Awesome. Again, awesome. like I said, I'm a huge awesome. fan. Cool. And, uh, well, we're making a new rock record right now. Sweet. Yeah. Where, where's that? Where? In Vancouver, we're making, I don't know, because the book came out. Is there any so type of feel of that right now? Or are you guys in the uh, early stages? I don't know. We'll ask Snake if he's got any demos on his phone he can play for you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Sneak, sneak peek. Yeah. Exclusive. That's right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Peace out, party people. Peace out. I was done. I don't know if you've ever been done. I was at a point where I was like, well, I'm good. I'm done. Did it. Yeah, did it all.